So I'm often asked, should my drumsticks break? And the answer to that is they are wood. So yes, um, we're hitting metal cymbals. We're hitting metal rims of drums. We're hitting plastic drum heads. Um, and effectively we're using wood sticks. So over time, um, these drumsticks can just become fatigued and eventually they break. Um, but normally, it's a, if you're breaking sticks often, then that's a sign of technique rather than fatigue. So one of the first things I would say is watch that special feature video, episode one, on how to hold your drumsticks. And then there's just natural fatigue. So your stick has the tip, it has the shoulder or the shank, and then this is the main body of the stick right here. So if you're hitting cymbals with the shoulder of the stick, which you do the majority of the time, you can get some fatigue around here. And you'll see wood shavings on your floor, on your carpet where this happens. Um, the tip of the stick can become damaged um, if you connect with a cymbal badly. Not so much of an issue with a wood tip stick, but with a plastic tip stick. And if you lose that plastic tip, it can be an issue because that plastic tip can separate. And effectively, you're playing your drums with not a totally sharp end, slightly rounded, but still you can do a lot of damage to your drum heads um, if you lose the, the tip of your, of your plastic drumstick. When you're hitting cymbals, um, now I'm assuming, I'm gonna make the assumption that you're holding the stick nice and light. When you're hitting cymbals, you wanna hit with that glancing motion, that sideways motion. Um, I show you that in, in the videos, um, in the drum set videos. Um, if you hit straight down and you hit straight down with force and you're holding the stick um, tight, then again, that's going to eventually fatigue and break the stick. Um, now, sticks are made of different things. You've got hickory sticks, you've got um, maple sticks, you've got oak sticks. Maples are very light wood. Uh, I, you know, I, I'd like to think I have pretty good technique. I, I break maple sticks. They're just too light for me. Um, so I would always say start with a hickory stick um, because it's 95% of popularity when it comes to drumsticks is hickory. Um, oak is also really popular as well though because it's denser so it should last a little bit longer but personally I've always just found that oak feels to the touch a little different for me it just always felt a little uncomfortable for me um, but with drumsticks it's really subjective you know you've really got to go what works for you just because something doesn't feel comfortable to me you may have the opposite um, experience so just be mindful that drumsticks, when they're a good pair, like a good pair of Vic Firths or Promarks or Veta, Zildjian, Regal Tip, these are all the top brands. A good pair of sticks can run 15 to $20. Um, so it's not really a, a mistake we want to make too often, breaking our sticks. And just remember, if you do go for those budget bin sticks that you see in uh, the shops that are four, five, six dollars a pair, you know, they're probably that price for a reason. They're not going to last that long. Um, so I think the biggest tip I can give you here is just watch the special feature video on grip and technique because that will solve the majority of the issues you might have with breaking sticks. But if you've got any further questions, please feel free to email me support at drumambition.com.